Hello, my name is Russell Toll. Two mirrors hinged along a common edge form a dihedral kaleidoscope. If the angle between them is pi divided by n, n an integer, an object gives 2n images, including the object itself. And if the object lies on the bisector of the angle between the mirrors, it and its reflections lie on the vertices of a regular 2n gon. When we add a third mirror, enclosing a triangular region, and insist that all three angles are of the form pi divided by n, that is, so that pi divided by L plus pi divided by M plus pi divided by n equals pi, only three types of kaleidoscope arise. One of these three has angles pi divided by 2, pi divided by 3, and pi divided by 6, that is, 90, 60, and 30 degrees. Reflections in the walls of this kaleidoscope induce an infinite tessellation of the plane, and seven uniform tilings arise from this one kaleidoscope. Once again, the angle bisectors of the three angles are important. To form all the possible uniform tessellations, we must find the points of intersection of these bisectors with the respectively opposite sides, and also their common point of intersection, the in-center of the triangle. It is significant that an object placed upon this in-center forms the vertices of a zonotopal tessellation of the plane by regular dodecagons, hexagons, and squares. Uniform tilings may have regular polygons of one or more types, but all vertices are equivalent. The dual of such a tiling has vertices of one or more types, but all polygons are equivalent. Here we see one of the uniform tilings and its dual superimposed. Note that the dual rhombic tiling has vertices of two types, just as the uniform tiling has polygons of two types. It is interesting to place objects of various kinds within a kaleidoscope, the triangular base may itself act as an object, and whatever pattern or color exists in the base is reflected into the infinite tessellation. All these images, all these animations, were made using the free ray tracing software Povray. Thank you.